Fighting cock. Cock. Hello, hello, and welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're talking about fighting cock. cock. Yes. <laughs> Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can hear more about the cock. <laughs> Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about the fighting cock? There's a, there's a cock on the bottle. He's a fighting cock. He is a cock on the bottle. Look at him. Cock in a bottle. Look at his talons. Yeah, he's a scary cock. All right. Scary so, cock. Okay, that's not a good thing. No, <laughs> he's, he's got a Prince Albert. He can't help it. <laughs> this is the fighting cock. Straight whiskey. It's 103 proof, 75 corn, 13 <laughs> rye, 12 barley. It's a direct competitor to Wild Turkey's 101, hence we're fighting cock. They also call it the the uh, kicking chicken, as they as they nickname it at Heaven Hill, which the is where they made it. That's just because they don't want to say cock all the time. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. The fighting cock is way more exciting than kicking chicken. Maybe they should have thought twice about naming it the fighting cock. <laughs> but it's just so much funnier. It used to have a six-year age statement. They took that off in 2015, I think, something like that. Um, but now it's at least four years old, but it's no age statement on the bottle. Um, that's a, and, and Heaven Hill says cheap. They can make it cheaper and better. That's about all there is. There's like no information on this thing beyond this. They're like, we have a fighting cock in our warehouse, and that's about all we say about it. I'm like, well, that's great, Heaven Hill. Good job. So, so what's the price point? Uh, I think fifteen dollars. Okay, ain't nothing better than some cheap good cock. So so truly, <laughs> even <laughs> even cheaper than Wild Turkey like, One Hundred One. Yeah. Yeah, because wild turkey is like 18, 19. This is only, yeah, you can get it for like 15. Yeah. Oh, let's see what we get if the fighting cock is truly better than a the wild turkey. So this one comes at 103 proof. Yep. That's a happy little number. Yeah. It's two points. Yeah, it smells get, like it. Yeah, you get it right on the nose. Ooh, there, that's nice alcohol. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon and brown sugar. Yep, vanilla, caramel. Vanilla, this is definitely yeah. new oak all day long. Got your two bourbon notes right there mm -hmm. on the nose. I mean, it 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 doesn't seem overly complex. No, so far. No. Well, and other than the other than the slight astringency, uh, yeah. it, it smells nice. pretty atypical of bourbon. Right. Yeah. Oak char, fresh tan leather. You yeah, know, I can get a leather note. It's that old west store in the stockyards. It's got all those cow hides all over the place. Yep. Oh, like foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see what else is in this box. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> let's oh, see. Jesus. Whew. Buttered popcorn. No, it's all uh, talking about popcorn. <laughs> popcorn and pop a cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shocky pop, whatever the hell that stuff's called in the bag. Something with cock, I don't remember. They come uh, back again? A little bit of anise. An <laughs> <laughs> Next to the anal. <laughs> this is so bad. It's going off the rails quick. Wait, guys. <laughs> Glad it's <laughs> live stream. Let's see. Um, about <sighs> orange chocolate. Oh, like Jelly Bellies, the coating on them. There's a little bit yeah. of coffee and some buttered toast. I could totally get behind the buttered toast, but if you add it to the popcorn too, yeah. like it, it's totally popped, so. buttered popcorn, like movie theater popcorn. Absolutely, it's a it's a cock sandwich. It's a cock sandwich. <laughs> oh, I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Don't choke! Don't choke! It's gonna hold cock. Oh my god! Pause. Oh, oh! I finally. 
finally swallowed. Okay. <laughs> all right where were we uh i'm pretty Mark. sure it was that what that's what she said no it all started with the cock sandwich <laughs> <laughs> she's going again <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to please taste this cock at some point? <laughs> I'm tired of the only one that has the cock in their mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm going to try. <laughs> some oaky it's a lot smoother on the palate than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's more velvety in your mouth <laughs> the proof definitely doesn't present itself like I was expecting it to <laughs> we're not going to be able to publish this video <laughs> oh my god oh my god what was in these bottles are you sure it's bourbon <laughs> Hard cock. <laughs> well, not very hard. <laughs> Mine were quite flaccid. <laughs> oh All right, we're gonna have lots of good bloopers on this one. Uh, I think the whole episode's gonna be a blooper. Oh, just put it all in. <laughs> yeah, we're putting it all in. I'm just gonna put it all in. Just fill that shit and send it out. Okay, we'll get some real notes now. All right. For reals. Stop. I'm trying to. Okay. It's it is oak. It is more oaky than I expected. Um, some char, cinnamon, little orange citrus. Um, it's like pancakes with maple syrup, like an alcohol of maple syrup. Yeah. Yeah, I get that maple note. And now it's those be- those the same thing as the butter popcorn jelly bellies with a little heat and black pepper. It's it tastes good. I, I think it's ta- I think it's a it's a nice tasting uh, whiskey. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. I remember. Um, then we do. Yeah, like on the budget bourbon night. night. Yeah, we yeah. tasted it. It was I think it was one of the stand up winners that night for sure. I think so. I mean, just for fifteen bucks? Are you kidding me? This is hundred and three. Come on. Yeah, you yeah. can't with this. It's I mean it's. It's a bourbon, but it does have some little bit of random bur- notes that you don't get on a typical bourbon. Mm-hmm. It's nice. So, yeah. I like it. It's nice. It's oh, very good. $15 whiskeys there are, to be real honest. Now, how um, how easy is this to get? It's everywhere. It's fairly easy. Shouldn't be a problem. Excellent. <clears throat> so, yeah, lots of things, uh, you know, not allocated. Just hanging out on the, on the shelf. Generally next to the, the wild turkey, which we need to compare it to since they decided they wanted to compete with the wild turkey 101. So. All right. Well, first things first, it's got two on its proof. It's sure. winning already. It's already two better. <laughs> <sighs> so the wild turkey 101, it's got that alcohol Ooh. burn astringent. Oh, so I'm not getting that. I'm getting more of a vanilla tone. I'm getting a softer vanilla tone on this than I was on the fighting cock. Like real vanilla. Yeah. I mean, it's got kind of a little bit of a funk in there for me. It does compared to the fighting cock. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know. Is this a fairly new bottle or? Um, so when we used when we did our night, what was that? Maybe wild turkey night. Yeah. Nine months ago. I mean, we opened it new that right when we did that. So it's okay. Pretty- yeah. Then I continued to leave it out next to my media in my media room and drank half the bottle over several months, and it was quite tasty. That happened. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's spikier for sure, but the proof yeah. is not as high. Yeah. It's got that that alcohol mm. punch in the front, and then it, it kind of just bleh. And to me, there's a black pepper that just kind of lasts as the finish on this one. 
Uh, and I agree that the, 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 the spikiness of the alcohol is a lot more dominant on the wild turkey than it is on the fighting It's not pot. very rounded. Right. Yeah. Mm. Cock's better. Yeah, cock's yep. better. Yep. And the cock is better than the album. Cock's better than the turkey. Cock, cock gobbler? Yep, definitely yep. A cock gobbler. It wins. The fighting cock wins. Yep, I'd agree. So I would say cheaper is better. I would have to say from our standpoint, that's not your saving from heaven hell. So not going to say I wouldn't take, obviously, Wild Channel 1. I like it, but I think I like the fighting cock better. Yep, right. I, I mean, I agree. If, if I had to stand in the aisle and choose, I would definitely pick the fighting cock. Yeah, yeah. and surprising, I thought I'd like the wild turkey more, but me too. I've never compared the two, and I figured it's sure. I was like, nah, there's no way, but now it's actually better. Yeah. So, good job, heaven hell. Yeah, very good. And so, well, for science, yeah. that was fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell for more shenanigans. <laughs> For more cock in your glass. That's how much way you roll. <laughs> I, I forgot our sign off. Till next time. Keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Thank you, love. Cheers. 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 <laughs> wow. That was a lot of cock talk. Yep. Oh, like foreskin. Why wouldn't I do that?